Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of ham radio station W1GV Whiskey One Golf Victor. The date, January 8, 2014. The time, 2.23 p.m. Mountain Standard, 21.23 Zulu. The frequency, as you can see, 28.06750 megahertz on the 10 meter band. There's the W1AW in Newington, Connecticut, sending code practice. We can just barely hear them. I've got the narrowest filter on there. There's 500 hertz wide filter. Watch these numbers 250 hertz wide, 100 hertz wide. Normally I run it at 500 hertz wide. Not as good as yesterday up here. Let's go down to 15 meters. Pretty good here yet. Let's go down to 17 meters. Good here too. Pretty good on 20 meters as well. And getting better gradually on 40 meters as the sun drops in the sky. It's pretty close to the horizon, probably almost on the horizon now in Newington, Connecticut, where this station, W1AW, is transmitting from. Probably a two-element 40-meter Yagi aimed right at my face. Probably at least one and maybe two stacked 20-meter Yaggies aimed at my face, and on 15, I'm not sure exactly what. I don't know what they're using on 18 megahertz. When I worked at W1AW in the 1977-1978, hams didn't even have an 18 megahertz band. So times have gotten better for radio hams. Now, I've received a email from a colleague telling me that a solar flare is in progress. If that is true, and if it transmits enough subatomic particles, protons and charged particles like that, towards the Earth, and they get near the Earth's magnetic poles, they're going to be accelerated by the magnetic field of the Earth. That acceleration, remember when any charged particles accelerate, they produce electromagnetic energy. That will disrupt the ionosphere and create some noise on all of the shortwave radio bands. And if it's severe enough, that so-called geomagnetic storm will cause propagation all across the shortwave radio bands to collapse. Shortwave being defined as high frequency or 3 to 30 megahertz, which encompasses all of the popular HF bands uh, for ham radio. Solar activity is, in general, uh, looked forward to by radio hams, but not solar storms, not geomagnetic storms, because then, you know, it, everything goes down the toilet. Everything just crashes. Just out of curiosity, though, there's always that, that, always that acid test. To see how... Hear that noise? Appliance noise. That is the bane of my existence here at this QTH. That's channel 11, CB channel 11. I've got 9 kilohertz wide, 6 kilohertz wide, or 3 kilohertz wide for AM. I don't know what I'd use 3 kilohertz on AM for. Well, there are some signals here, but they're not as strong as they were yesterday. This could be the sign that portends or forecasts... Well, I'm going to listen to the W1AW Propagation Forecast Bulletin. Go to the W1AW website... I mean, you go to ARRL.org and look for the W1AW schedule. And then you can listen to their propagation forecast bulletins on code, or if you prefer, you can print them out on various digital modes, including PSK, MFSK, and regular old Bordeaux teletype. Oh, they're booming in on 20 meters now. 
Well, uh, I think things are going to get worse, but we'll just have to wait and see. But mark my words here and see whether I'm right. Stan Jabalisco, W1GV, signing off, saying 73. Until next time, so long.